Sophia, Queen of the Hellens. Born Princess Sophia of Prussia, her parents were Frederick III, German Emperor, and Victoria, Princess Royal and German Empress. As Queen of the Hellens, she found it difficult to adapt to her new country, but found solace in helping the poor and ill. If you would like to support my channel, please like, comment, subscribe, or even check out my Patreon page. It really helps me to create new content. Sophia was a granddaughter of both Queen Victoria of the United Kingdom and King Willem I of Prussia, German Emperor. She was born on the 14th of June, 1870, and was the seventh child of eight children born to the then Crown Prince and Princess of Prussia. Sophia had seven siblings, one of whom passed away before she was born. Willem, Charlotte, Henry, Sigismund, Victoria, Voldemar and Margaret. Sophia and her sisters Victoria and Margaret were particularly close to their mother Victoria. Their mother had a difficult relationship with her eldest three children. Sophia grew up in a loving and warm home in two main residences, New Palace and the Crown Prince Palace. As her parents were liberals, they lived away from the Prussian court with their children due to the very conservative nature of court. Shortly after Sophia's birth, the Spanish succession was revealed which damaged Franco-Prussian relations. The relationship between the two countries worsened further when Chancellor Otto von Bismarck, the Prussian Chancellor, published the humiliating Ems telegram. And six days later, Napoleon III, Emperor of the French, declared war on Prussia. The German Confederation offered support to Prussia. Around this time, Sophia was baptised, and the event was sad and serious due to all the men present wearing full uniforms. The war lasted only a few months, but led to Sophia's grandfather, Willem I, being installed as the first German Emperor on the 18th of January, 1871. Sophia's childhood was mostly happy. She was nicknamed Saucy due to big age gaps between the older and younger children of the crown princely couple, their parents grouped them into two different groups. Willem, Charlotte and Henry were grouped into one group and were favourites of their paternal grandparents, while Victoria, Voldemar, Sophia and Margaret were grouped together and were favoured by their parents. In 1879, Sophia's older brother, Voldemar, died of diphtheria and this event drew the crown princess and her three younger daughters closer together. Victoria believed in English superiority and had her children's nurseries modelled on her childhood. Sophia was raised with a great love for England and had frequent trips to visit Queen Victoria, her grandmother whom she loved. The children spent long periods of time in England. Sophia and the younger children of the crown princely couple were largely ignored by their paternal grandparents and Sophia's early years were shaped by her parents and grandmother Queen Victoria. Sophia grew attached to her grandmother and Victoria the crown princess did not hesitate to leave her daughter in her grandmother's care for extended periods of time. In 1887 Queen Victoria celebrated her golden jubilee. At this event, many members of European royalty arrived in England. Sophia met Crown Prince Constantine of Greece and grew close to him. Though not bright, Queen Victoria wrote to her daughter, saying that a good heart and a good character went far beyond that of cleverness. Nine months later, Sophia's grandfather passed away and her father became the German Emperor. However, he passed away one day after Sophia's 18th birthday in June 1888. Her older brother Willem became the emperor. Shortly after her father's death, Sophia and Constantine became engaged. They had the approval of Willem, but Victoria dreaded sending her daughter so far away and believed that the Greek throne was unstable. Nevertheless, the couple were wed on the 27th of October, 1889, in Athens. They had both Greek Orthodox and Lutheran services. They settled into a small villa while their new home, the Crown Prince Palace, was being built. 
Sophia and Constantine had six children together, George, Alexander, Helen, Paul, Irene and Catherine. Catherine was born nine years after Irene. The Greek, Romanian, Serbian and Spanish royal families all descend from their marriage. They lived a simple life as the Greek court was far removed from protocol. However, Sophia found life monotonous and had difficulty adjusting to her new life. During her time in Greece, she learned modern Greek, although it took her many years to become completely fluent. And after the birth of their eldest son, Sophia converted to the Orthodox faith. This move was popular among the Greeks and the Greek royal family. Though she had support from her grandmother and mother, the German royal family were largely outraged and against the conversion. Sophia and Willem were never on good terms from then on. As crown princess and later queen, Sophia took an interest in healthcare, hygiene improvements and the school system of Greece. She was actively involved in social work and led various initiatives to improve the welfare of her new country. In 1896, she founded the Union of Greek Women, which was very active in assisting refugees from the Ottoman Empire. During the Thirty Days' War, Sophia and other female members of the Greek royal family actively worked with the Greek Red Cross to help wounded soldiers. She founded field hospitals, visited the wounded and administered care to the victims of the fighting. The active participation of Sophia and her mother-in-law, Queen Olga, in aiding victims drew admiration from other European courts. As a reward for their efforts, Queen Victoria bestowed them with the Royal Red Cross. After the war, a powerful anti-monarchist movement developed in Greece. Several weeks after the peace treaty was signed between Greece and the Ottoman Empire, the King, George I, was almost assassinated. He was mostly unharmed. As the situation became more tense, Constantine and Sophia moved abroad and lived in Prussia. They later returned in 1899 to Greece. In 1901, both Sophia's grandmother, Queen Victoria, and her mother died. Sophia was deeply affected by the death of both of her closest relatives. On March 18, 1913, Sophia's father-in-law, George I, was assassinated and Constantine became the king. As Constantine I, though popular at first because of his successes in the war against Turkey and Bulgaria, after World War I broke out, the tide turned against him. Greece had signed a treaty with Serbia in 1913, which stated that Greece would help Serbia if attacked by Bulgaria, which happened. This led to disagreements between the king and the government. As a result, Constantine was forced to abdicate his throne in 1917 and his second son, Alexander, was installed as king. Constantine and his family went into exile in Switzerland. The crown prince and Prince Alexander were both suspected of collaborating with the Germans. Alexander ruled as king from 1917 until 1920 after dying from a monkey bite. Sophia's third son, Paul, was asked to be king, but he declined since Constantine was brought back after government change and a referendum was held. Greece was defeated by Turkey in 1922 and Constantine was forced to abdicate again. The following year, Constantine died from a brain hemorrhage. George then reigned from 1925 when he was forced to abdicate and again in 1936 when the monarchy was restored. He reigned until his death in 1947. Paul was then installed as king. All three of Sophia's sons became kings of Greece. Sophia spent her last years in Florence, Italy. She passed away at the age of 61 on the 13th of January 1932 in Germany, where she had been undergoing treatment for cancer. She was buried alongside her husband in Florence. After the monarchy was restored, Sophia and Constantine's remains were transferred to Greece and buried in the Royal Cemetery at Tatui Palace.